What's going on guys, welcome back. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to display beautiful tables in the command line using Python. And for that, we're going to use a module called tabulate. So we're going to start by opening up a command line of our choice and we're going to type on Windows pip install tabulate or on Linux and I think also on Mac pip3 install tabulate. And this is going to install the respective module and now all we need to do is we need to import it uh, by saying from tabulate import tabulate. And this can be quite useful for those of you who are into data science and work with data sets on a regular basis, because this tool allows us to just display data in a table format easily without worrying too much about formatting ourselves. So let's start with a very simple example. Let's say we have some table data here, and I'm going to use the copilot if it is available to generate some data. Um, it is enabled. So let's see if we can do that. We're going to start with a very simple thing like name. Uh, age job is a good suggestion. And then we're going to just fill up with some data. So for example, Mike 22 programmer, um, John 24 teacher, uh, Jane 23 designer, Jack 25 manager, and let's add one more Jill 26 programmer. So this is an ordinary Python list. So we have um, actually a two dimensional list. So we have list inside a list. Um, but essentially, this is just a basic Python list. So if we go ahead and print this table data, without tabulating, so just table data, we're going to see that this does not look first of all, like a table. And even if we do something like four row in table data for column in table data, or column and row actually print column and we end without a line break, and then every row we make a line break, that works, but it's still not really beautiful. Now, in this case, uh, it actually works because the names are all four characters long. But if I now change Jill to some long name like that, you're going to see that the whole table structure is now skewed. Um, and I can try even to do something like, okay, don't use uh, spaces, use tabs, for example, or something like that, or use multiple tabs. But at the end of the day, it's always different. And you need to to consider these things here. So it makes more sense to use a module like tabulate to do that. And it actually works quite uh, simple, you just type print and then tabulate. Now let's turn off the GitHub copilot, because otherwise, we're going to get uh, suggestions all the time. Tabulate. Um, and we're going to tabulate the table data. And we're going to say the headers. So the headers of the table is going to be the first row of um, of the table data. So this will be taken as the headers, we can, of course, alternatively, instead of passing the string also pass a list of um, of columns. But in this case, uh, this works. And now you can see we have a very basic table here uh, that is structured well, so we have the necessary uh, space here. And now what we can do is we can also add a table format. And we have a lot of different table formats to choose from. I recommend if you want to see all of them, you go to the documentation, they have a very um, nice section on the different formats here, I'm going to show you a couple of them. Um, table format, for example, we can go with P SQL, which I think is for Postgres SQL. Um, and you can see that now it looks like that, or we can choose something like uh, plain, and I think plain removes all all the separators. So like that, or the one that I uh, enjoy probably the most is what was it fancy underscore grit. There you go. So this actually looks like uh, pseudo graphics. So this looks like it, it is actually a graphic or something. Um, but this can be used now quite easily. We have uh, also something like uh, HTML, this of course won't print something uh, visual into the command line, it's going to give us the HTML code. But what we can do is we can go ahead and say with open and then my table dot HTML in writing mode SF F dot write tabulate 
tabulate uh, table data and the table format is going to be HTML. Now we can run this. Now we have this HTML file and I think we should be able to open it in the browser from here. So Firefox and take some time to load here, but there you go. You have an HTML file with a table. Same can be done uh, for La uh, LaTeX. I think this is how it's pronounced, uh, by the way. So essentially we're going to change this to TEX and then we have this here simple table. So this can be used with ordinary Python lists, but we can also use that uh, with NumPy arrays and with pandas data frames, but we can also use that with uh, dictionaries. So let's start with the dictionaries first. Uh, let's change all of this into a dictionary. Actually, I think we can turn on the auto completion for that. Uh, let's go with data and then this here, and then we can say, okay, name and Mike, John, Jane, Jack, some long name, H, there you go. And then um, job, there you go. So that's the dictionary, we can delete that now. And what we can do here is we can say, not write, but print again. And we essentially say, okay, the data is what we want to print here, what we want to use here. And the headers this time is not going to be first row because we don't have a list. We're going to say keys because we want to have the keys of, uh, of the dictionary. Those are going to be uh, the column names and the format is going to be, for example, again, fancy grit. There you go, works as well. And also one option that we can add here is show the index. Uh, now we don't have an index right now, but we can say show index equals true, or actually I think, I'm not sure if true is going to work, let's see. Uh, actually it works, but we can also pass always, which is the way that is described in, um, in the documentation. But you can see now we have these indices here. All right, so let's see that we can also do that in NumPy. So we can say import NumPy, S and P and import pandas SPD for later on. Um, and essentially, we can basically just go ahead and say, um, for NumPy, let's, let's just go with a sample array here, I'm going to call this array equals NP array. And now we're going to have some sample data one, two, three. Um, let's do one, two, three, and then four, five, six, and then seven, eight, nine. And then all we want to do is we want to say, okay, print the array and the headers, we can now specify uh, a separate list of column names. And we're going to just call this call one, call two, call three. And there you go. That's it essentially. And instead of passing this string here, we're going to say columns. And there you go. Okay, we have a problem. What's the problem here? Oh, this of course needs to be in a list itself. There you go. With the indices now we have the NumPy array displayed as a table. And last but not least, the pandas data frame. So let's just keep uh, the data that we have here and we're going to say df equals pd data frame of the data. So from the dictionary, we're going to create uh, a pandas data frame and we can now go ahead comment this out and just print the ordinary data frame because the data frame itself already has uh, a way of being printed as a table. So you can see that uh, we already have a table like structure, but we can still go ahead and print the table or the data, uh, the data frame um, using a different format. So for example, the fancy grid looks better than this, in my opinion. Um, and here for the columns, we just pass or for the headers, we pass just keys again. And there you go. So this is the data frame now displayed in a fancy grid style.
So that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you learned something. If so, let me know by hitting a like button and leaving a comment in the comment section down below. And of course, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell to not miss a single future video for free. Other than that, thank you much for watching. See you in the next video and bye.